Hey, thanks for having us, Machine Repeat. Um, yeah, we've got several products uh, that we have been using in Canada for the last six years here in Saskatchewan, Manitoba, and Alberta. Uh, but mainly, uh, so we've got nitrogen stabilizer products, but today we're going to talk a little bit about our foliar products. Our board pack is one of them, uh, particularly, that we've been putting on the canola. Um, but as you guys know, in about, about 10 days ago, Ag in Motion, we had a big um, hailstorm come through and it wiped a lot of the crops out. As you guys are walking through the, through the plots and you're seeing all the hail damage. Um, so that was last Friday. And what we determined after we found out the hailstorm, we wanted to do a hail recovery program to show the farmers out there that just because you get hail doesn't mean it's over. Um, so what we did here is uh, we had hail on Friday. So two days later, we had Pammy, who was our, uh, he was, they're the one that was spraying our crops. They're out of Humboldt, okay. Saskatchewan. And uh, we had them come across with the health recovery program and with our products that we use was NutriPack and SoilPack. And our canola right here, you can see it was flattened with the hail. And uh, when they took us pictures, it was, of course, I was like a farmer. I've got all this work in our plot and here we got held out. So on Monday, we had Pammy come across and we had them do a liter of NutriPack and a liter of Sol Pack. Why those two products? Uh, the, the, the stuff that is in NutriPack and Sol Pack both have fulvic acid, humic acid, and gibberellic acid along with phosphate. That's your trick, guys. You want to stimulate, get those roots to stimulate again, and you want to get that plant to thinking about growth. Uh, this is the product that we have. It's uh, the active ingredient in um, Agrotain is NBPT. So we got, when that went off patent, we snatched NBPT, put it with our end zone technology to give you above and below ground control. We got a double alcohol base in there. So it treats the, uh, the urea prill real nice. And you can see if you cut one of these prills open, uh, that blue is gonna be adhered all the way through the urea. And then the isopropyl alcohol is gonna dry on that urea really nice, okay? And then for our anhydrous ammonia stabilizer, it's in zone GL. So we have a non-corrosive plant health, plant safety, and uh, we treat the unit of end and not the acre, and we're very bacteria friendly. So we put that in with anhydrous ammonia. Right here, if you look down here on the end right here, this is an uh, equipment a piece of equipment that we could give to the, to the farmer on the farm, and we could hook him up uh, directly on his toolbar, and he could inject end zone in his tank immediately like that. So it takes a minute, two minutes to pump in the tank, we treat the unit of the bend, and I don't care if they put 100 pounds on that field and 50 pounds on that field, that unit of end, once you have end zone in that tank, that unit of end is stabilized. Thanks for being a part of the Machinery Pete Spotlight video.